A Triple R coming at you from right there. All right, roadies, I'm in uh, Bryce Canyon National Park. This is the fifth and final park in Utah and 21st overall. And uh, hey, let me tell you, I was way off with my uh, expectation from when I was an hour and a half away in Capitol Reef. This place is, uh, it's busy, it's crowded. And uh, they also, like Zion, use the shuttle system with one very, very nice difference. You can drive to every trailhead. It's just a matter of will parking be available when you get there. And uh, it's early afternoon. I'm just here this afternoon and tomorrow, and that's it. So I immediately came out. I did find a parking spot. And I'm on uh, the Ferry Loop Land Trail, eight miles. I am on a constant winding descent right now of about 1,700 feet. Of course, that means on the way back up, I'm just going to be huffing uphill. It's not, uh, it's not steep as of yet. I don't think it will be. It's uh, very gradual. Uh, so right now, I'm just coasting. Uh, th uh, this park is known for the hoodoos. So I'm going to flip the camera around while I hike. You can see the trail. It's a real, just a nice path. And uh, I'll let you take a look at the scenery that uh, I'm checking out and all these hoodoos. All right, so here we go. Very, very orange. <laughs> Doesn't have that uh, deeper tint that the other parks in Utah had. And going downhill, I'm, I'm, I'm bopping here, so I'm sure this video is going to be unstable. But after here, it's uh, right across the state line into Nevada for Great Basin National Park for just one afternoon. And I'll tell you something, I spent the last five days just winding down in St. George and uh, did a lot of writing, 6,000 words over the five days and went to the gym every day and then just hung around the RV, uh, only went out for dinner one time. And the first day I was there, it was 111 degrees. Today when I left, it was 106. Or yesterday, yesterday was 106. I left this morning, so it wasn't hot yet. But it was blistering, man, blistering. Uh, the other thing that uh, caught me off guard here, but didn't matter, is a Capitol Reef didn't have an entrance fee. This had the uh, the thirty dollar entrance fee, but I had my annual pass, so no additional cost to me, which is always nice. Uh, but they had three three ranger stations open at the entrance to drive through, and the visitor center was packed. All right, all right. That is Tower Bridge. It's pretty, pretty crazy looking. Right, check those out. It's really wild, really wild, really cool. 
Hoodoo. Every time I say or think of the word hoodoo, I think of Game of Thrones and Hodor, Hodor, Hodor. Which it wasn't until just recently we found out that he was always saying, hold the door. <laughs> if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you'll know what I'm spraying. Dark cloud right there. I suppose that's some rain rolling in, looks like it. I'm on an uphill climb a little bit. Really, really nice view. The heat isn't too bad. And uh, right at the bottom of this base before I started climbing, I ran into a solo European hiker right at the a cross path, right in front of a sign that said Tower Bridge 200 yards. And he asked me, how far is 200 yards? And I could tell from his accent, he was European. I said, yeah, you do everything in meters, don't you? He said, yeah. I said, well, do you know how long a meter is? He said, no, which actually surprised me a little. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to rag on the guy. I just thought that maybe, maybe that was common knowledge over there. So I said, all right, well, this is going to be easy for you. One yard is 36 inches. One meter is 39 inches. So you only got a three inch difference to compare the two, so it's pretty easy to calculate. So if you're wanting to find out the distance of 200 yards, all you gotta do is multiply and divide your two equations to get the answer that you're looking for in meters. And I said, 200 yards is probably right about 185 meters. And he pulled out his phone pulled up his calculator and he multiplied the 36 inches per yard times the, the 200 yards then divided that number by the 39 to get his total meter distance and it came out to a 184.61 well not quite 185 but I was pretty darn close I'd have to say that my uh, math skills are still intact and just as sharp and quick as ever always been quick at math love math good, good stuff uh, check out that way over there it's pretty slick well I might as well give a quick book update book update not that I think because anyone cares but uh just because I'm walking and I want to. I'm at uh, 44,000 words. And uh, I'm really excited about it. I really, really love what's going on here and where, where it's going and what's happening. Like I, I have so many things intertwined. I actually surprise myself that I'm able to continue to come up with these elaborate stories that have so many twists and turns and and characters and personalities and just things going on that uh, I have to constantly remember and keep using in the story to make sense to where it's all going to so I pat myself on the back nobody else will and uh, two things have happened completely unexpectedly but this always happens when I'm writing which which gives me the feeling that I'm liking what's happened all I need is the beginning and the end I'll get there somehow and uh, I've had the ending since the first word so I'll just let uh, the natural progression get there but sticking to of course the primary premise the story deviated from the Appalachian Trail just on its own natural accord and, and has gone off and other things are going to be happening. And uh, which kind of caused me to do the second thing which was change the title. It's no longer called 500 Deadly Miles. It is now called Quicksand. 
that I love and that I love and I have been wanting to use that word in a title since before I even wrote my last book. And I was trying to figure out what can I put with it? How can I use that? Where can I fit that in someplace? What would the story be about? And I've, I've been wanting to use it. And bam, there it is. I love it. And I already got the book cover designed too. So, of course, if you haven't read the first two in the series, quicksand makes no sense. So I'll explain it. Why not? My primary character, his one and only CIA mission he, he went on was in the first book of the series, and the, the mission was called Operation Quicksand. And now in this book, when he went on the Appalachian Trail to look for the trio of murdering bank robbers, he uh, was looking to come up with a trail name for himself. And he chose quicksand for his trail name. So to me, it makes great sense by knowing the, the history of the first two books and into this one. And I love the title. And this, there's a, there's a storm coming in. I can see the rain. This could be bad because there's, there isn't really anywhere to hide. All right, later. Came around this corner, that's just an awesome view right there. Bryce Canyon, folks. There's a storm right there, see that? Wow. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty nice, pretty spectacular, right there. Wow, holy crazy, crazy hoodoo, impressive. Can you hear the thunder? Oh, you gotta like that, right? What do you think of that? Look at the size of this sucker <laughs> right above me. Well, I'm uh, down in the canyon now, so uh, pretty quickly here I'm going to be uh, climbing back up, work my way to, I think, uh, along the rim trail, which is called Sunrise Point, and uh, that should take me back to where I started, I think. That's very neat. Yeah. Right on. All right. I came up to a little bit of a climb. 
So, uh, got a good look now. Uh, there's some hoodoos down below. These are cool with the white tips. Check that out. It's pretty slick. Well, I have to say, uh, Oh, yeah, way over there. It's gotta be a mile away. <laughs> I am uh, more impressed with this park than I expected to be. I can see why it's uh, so crowded. Nice surprise. Uh, Experience something that exceeds your thoughts and expectations for sure. I'm really excited for Great Basin after uh, misreading this park, thinking Basin would be the same, and then seeing that special on PBS. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna like that one too. What do you think of that? Rodies. Hey, you can see the trail on the other side that I came on. Boom, around the corner. There it keeps going. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, very insane right there. Very insane. Looks so cool. That is trippy. Okay, roadies. I'm starting the day anew with a clean shaven face. And here's why. Today is a Wednesday, June 29th. I started this adventure on December 30th. And if you may not recall, this is a leap year. So there's 29 days in February. So today is day 183 of me being on the road. Exactly a half of my travel year. And I have estimated that I will end up returning home and back to Florida on December 29th, which is 183 days from today. So, switching it up for the second half.
tomorrow I will be in Nevada at Great Basin National Park, then take a few days off in Provo for the 4th of July holiday. And uh, up till now, and there's a little dust tornado in front of me on the trail. It's gone now. I hadn't made any concrete plans or any reservations or really had committed to the direction I was going to go after 4th of July. But over the last few days, I've made all of my reservations right up through uh, September 1st, which will be in Redwood National Park in Northern California. I stopped right there. So I am booked right up through Idaho into Montana, Washington and Seattle with five more, six more national parks involved there, including Redwoods. Check it out, nice view. Yeah, how about that? Is that wild? Thunder behind me. All right, well, I. <clears throat> Worked my way down the canyon, now I'm on the, the uh, up climb. And I'm gonna go off trail for a mile to Bryce Point and then come back and pick it up, but uh, check out behind me. I like it. How different is this than Zion? That's pretty different. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's not that I mean, none of but that I mean that is like a perfect row of hoodoos isn't it that is just crazy That is tough. I like it. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is also a horse trail.
Thor's hammer.